Heat pumps. Refrigeration cycles have been developed for heating buildings. The procedure is to design a device which absorbs heat from the surrounding earth and then delivers heat at a higher temperature to the interior of the building. If a device is used in this way, operating between the outside absolute temperature T0, interior absolute temperature Ti, what would be the maximum number of kilowatt hours of heat that could be supplied to the building for every kilowatt hour of electrical energy needed to operate the device. Now uh, you can see that I have a drawing of this heat pump here. We are extracting heat from outside, providing heat to inside uh, and there is electrical energy provided to the pump. Now if I write the entropy change of the outside it is minus Q out over T out. And if I write the entropy change of the inside, it is plus Q in over T in. And the total entropy change, delta S star, uh, which is minus Q out over T out plus Q in over T in, must be greater or equal to zero. This is the second law of thermodynamics. On the other hand, I have the... Uh, and this is also because I have the delta S of the pump is zero, it is cyclic. So there's only the uh, heat reservoirs providing me entropy changes. Uh, the mean energy change of the pump uh, is also zero, which is the heat absorbed Q0 minus Q initial, the Q inside, plus the electrical energy W. This must be equal to zero. So I find that Q0 is qi minus w this is the first law so i'm com uh, if i combine the first law and the second law uh, basically i see that minus q out over t out becomes minus qi minus w over t out uh, plus qi over ti must be greater or equal to zero so i'm rewriting the second law uh, here and this is going to give me, uh, in QI parentheses, 1 over TI minus 1 over uh, T out uh, plus W over T out must be greater or equal to 0. So I'm going to multiply this with T in T out. Uh, so I will obtain, in that case, Q in um, T out minus T in divided by T out T in, but T out T in will cancel. And then I will have plus T in must be greater or equal to zero. Then uh, T out, I remember, is less than uh, T in. So in order to make that positive, I will multiply this by minus one. Multiplying by minus one, the inequality sign changes. So this becomes QI TI minus T zero minus ti is less or equal to zero or qi is less or equal to ti over ti minus uh, t0 i have forgotten the uh, w here so where did w go uh, so if i multiply this by ti t0 divided by uh, w this would be qi divided by w here and then this would be plus ti. So this is qi divided by w. And therefore I would find that qi is less or equal to ti over ti minus t0 multiplied with w. So the maximum value for if uh, w is 1 kilowatts hour, then I find that the maximum value of qi would be ti divided by ti minus t out. In part b, obtain a numerical answer for the case outside temperature is 0 degrees Celsius, inside temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Remember that this ti and t out were absolute temperatures. So t out is 0 degrees Celsius which is 273 Kelvin and T in is 25 degrees Celsius, which is 298 Kelvin. 
Therefore, I find that QI maximum would be 298 divided by 298 minus 273. 298 divided by 25, which is 11.9 kilowatts hour. And in part C, uh, compare the cost of power necessary to operate this pump with the cost of power necessary to provide the same amount of uh, heat to the interior of the house by means of an electrical resistance heater. Okay, so uh, I find that in part B, 11.9 kilowatts hour uh, heat can be provided by provided with one kilowatt hour electrical energy input in the heat pump uh, 11.9 kilowatts hour heat uh, would require 11.9 kilowatts hour electrical energy in a resistive heater. So the cost is substantially reduced by using a heat pump. Okay, so uh, we are delivering heat to the inside of the building, extracting heat from outside in a cyclic process uh, where we have electrical energy input as well. If we look at the total entropy change, that tells us that the maximum amount of heat we can provide is Ti over Ti minus T0 times W. And if W is 1 kilowatt hour, it is Ti over Ti minus T0. In the case of 0 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius and 273 Kelvin, 298 Kelvin, this corresponds to 11.9 kilowatts hour of heat provided uh, to the building. And uh, we have a 1 kilowatt hour input, 11.9 kilowatts hour output. But if you use electrical resistive heater, you would need the same amount of electrical energy to turn into heat and therefore this scheme is a lot cheaper.